Distributions of strength and stress in reinforced concrete members. This figure shows a typical response of a reinforced concrete beam subjected to an UTL load. The beam bends downwards, which leads to the bottom part of the beam undergo tensions while the top part of the beam undergo compressions. The concrete cracks in the regions of tension strand. Once the crack occurs, the tension is fully taken by the reinforcement embedded in the concrete. This set the fundamentals for the beam bending theory. On top of that, it is also assumed that the plank sections will remain plain after straining, and thus the strands are linearly distributed across the sections. This response is presented by this diagram. Under bending, the strand develop linearly across the sections. The top part undergo compressive strain while the bottom part undergo tension strain. This assumption is essential as we are going to need it for us to determine the regional strain developed within the sections. By assuming the relationship is linear, we may predict the regional strength within the sections through interpolations. From the diagram here, this represents the typical cross sections of the concrete beam, and this represents the strength response, and this represents the stress response of the cross sections. There are three stress blocks here which are the triangle, the rectangular parabolic, and the equivalent rectangular stress plot. The triangular stress plot represents the service limit state of the sections. The stress here is nearly proportional to the strength, which generally occur at the loading level encounter under the working conditions, which is the service limit state. Beyond the service limit state, the stress start to accumulate within the sections. The triangular stress block now transform into a rectangular parabolic stress block. At the ultimate limit state, a rectangular parabolic stress plot, as indicated here, is obtained. This occurs when the compressive strain was within the plastic range. Due to the parabolic shape, it is quite difficult to determine the resultant force based on the complex shapes of the stress block. Therefore, for simplicity, an equivalent rectangular section of stress block is developed. It is used to represent the rectangular parabolic, giving an about equivalent stress and forces acting on the sections. In another word, the simplified Equivalent rectangular stress board is used to replace the rectangular parabolic during the analysis of the section. It is meant for the ultimate limit state.